Israel's Finergy company has performed some tests with its aluminium air battery using Mahindra Trio's electric auto. This was done with IOCL, one of India's leading oil companies which has invested a significant amount in Finergy. IOCL has a minority stake in Finergy to set up an aluminium air battery manufacturing plant in India for electric vehicles and for stationary applications. Recently, the Indian ambassador to Israel, Sanjeev Kumar Singla, followed up on the progress of the MOU signed between IOCL and Finergy. The partner said that a proof of concept is progressing with Mahindra Electric to test out the metal air batteries. They added their metal air battery to a Mahindra Trio electric auto. Finergy's aluminium air system produces energy by combining metal, oxygen and water. Oxygen is a key reactant releasing energy from metal. Unlike conventional batteries that carry oxygen within a heavy electrode, metal air energy systems freely breathe oxygen from the ambient air making the systems significantly lighter. So here are some advantage of Finergy's aluminium air battery. It matches the driving range of non-electric cars. It reloads to full energy capacity in less than 5 minutes. The range is consistent even in cold weather. Finally, it lowers the cost of electric vehicles. Mr. Dharmendra Pradhan, Cabinet Minister for Petroleum and Natural Gas and Steel in the Government of India said, and I quote, Happy to note that this collaboration of Indian Oil Corporation Limited has helped us develop an e-mobility product by Finergy for Mahindra Electric. Such innovative technologies are revolutionizing battery technologies and have the potential to reduce energy import dependency of the country. Indian oil continues to surprise us. A few months ago, we reported how IOCL was setting up electric vehicle charging stations at their petrol pumps. And now, they are working on this aluminium air battery proof of concept. So far, we have no information on the commercialization of this technology. But the fact that IOCL, which is flush with cash, is investing so much money into this kind of technology proves that they are serious about electric vehicle technology. If this technology goes into commercial production, it will be a massive advantage for India because aluminium is freely available in large quantities in this country. Its extraction and recycling technologies are also very well established. Even right now, lithium ion batteries could replace auto rickshaws in our polluted Indian cities. However, companies like Bajaj and TVS have a vice-like grip on the pollution vehicle market in India. For example, Bajaj has delayed launching their much-awaited electric auto rickshaw even though their R&D team has been working on this rickshaw for the last three years. Further, in states like Maharashtra and Karnataka, there are strong anti-EV auto rickshaw lobbies. We are seeing improvements in battery technology every day as in the case of Finergy's aluminium air battery system. However, the question is, can our governments start acting against vested interest companies like Bajaj and TVS and start promoting environmentally friendly alternatives? Oh.